guys welcome back CFP here and this is survival living uh, today we do have a product review I'm going to show off some things here this we got from Alaska prepper I don't know if you guys remember around Christmas time he sent this to us and we were in the middle of getting everything prepared for a move to Wyoming as we all know we didn't make it to Wyoming not yet anyway but he did send me this uh, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced it, but I call it a T-fall, maybe it's T-fail, uh, pressure canner and cooker. This is a 22 quart canner. This is all made out of aluminum. It's heavy gauge aluminum. It comes with two canning racks uh, for uh, 22 quarts is what this bad boy holds. Now, I will go over a couple things with you guys. Uh, one, it did come with a little nifty instruction manual, and yes... It is in, in multiple languages, but, you know, decently sized. It does have um, some recipes for the pressure cooker and also for the canner. It's got uh, guides and everything in here. So that's actually pretty neat that it comes with its own little recipes and stuff. But like I said, it does come in multiple languages, um, so I really don't want to lose this. All right, so next up, it comes with two canning trays. So, it gives us plenty of room inside this thing for our canners. So, not bad. This is a little bit lighter gauge aluminum compared to what this thing is made out of. This thing here is made out of some heavy aluminum, which is nice. But, um, yeah, it did come with two, two of its own trays there. And we're fixing to open this thing up. I'm going to show you a little bit more details in this. Alright, so one of the first things I do want to show you guys... it open all right so we do have a pressure switch on this there's three different settings for this for the PSI uh, 5 10 and 15 PSI's on this of course it does have the gauge so you set it to whatever setting you're looking for and that's what you're looking for in your gauge you got one two and three there now sorry about the glare I do have a built-in gasket here there are some uh, moving parts that needs to be inspected before use and things like that. So, you know, the instruction manual does cover all that. Uh, there's a lid there, guys. Okay, so next up is the cooker itself. Like I said, it is a heavy gauge aluminum. And it's designed for 22 quarts. It's a very simple system. I'm really looking forward to using this thing. Um, we actually might be using it beforehand, before we ever get to Wyoming, to be honest, guys. With everything going on, may as well, right? Uh, I do want to point out on this lid, you do have a little slot on this side, and you got an indentation right there. That is the line up on the back side of this can. Because I had a hard time trying to get this lid back on. So, I just want to make sure that one goes just like that. And then it will lock into position. And trust me, it did take me a while to figure that out. I could not get this lid on for about 20 minutes when I unpackaged this thing. But, you know, that's me. I always have difficulties with some things. So, yeah, guys. Uh, that was a gift from Alaska Prepper. That was, like I said, it was around Christmas time. Um, he had uh, hooked up all his mods with some special Christmas gifts, and that was one that he sent us. Now, a little bit prior, he had actually sent me a Balls uh, canning book that is actually in storage right now, along with all of our other prepping literature and things like that. Because us preppers, you keep books. So we will be utilizing that a lot. So definitely special thanks to Alaska Prepper on that. Again, guys, if you don't know who Alaska Prepper is, which I am surprised if you don't, there is a link for his channel in the description. Um, so, yeah, pop-up little video there for you, too. So, yeah, I've been watching Alaska Prepper for well, a few years now. And I always highly recommend people go check out his channel. Definitely subscribe. Not just subscribe and walk away. Subscribe and become part of that community. A huge portion of people here on my channel alone actually is associated and actually came from Alaska Prepper's channel and they decided to be
be part of our community here. So when you go and subscribe to other people's channel, start watching their videos, work in their community. Um, don't just subscribe and never show up. Prepping channels always like to discuss things with other people online. Um, no, we don't have all the answers. Most of the time we learn a lot of new answers uh, from uh, the subscribers themselves right here. So I never claim to know everything. Also, another real quick note, uh, we had a very generous um, donator for, I believe, for our axle replacement on our 6x12. Um, I did not get an email from this individual. Actually, it came through my PayPal account. Um, it was a very generous donation. So if you want a shout out for this, definitely hit me up on my email. That is uh, Central Florida Prepper at hotmail.com um, because you know with PayPal your names there and being the internet and stuff like that I don't like just shouting out people's names on the internet so unfortunately you you probably have a different name on your subscriber information here on YouTube so I don't want to put your real name out there but anyway contact me by um, email and that way I can do a shout out for you if you would like that uh, guys that is very very appreciative um we don't require anybody to send anything i mean even with the channel we do have channel membership the paid membership the monthly fee thing um that's not required either that just gets a little extra um, videos and stuff like that um and i'm i'm kind of behind in that area to be honest um just been super busy but that's just a way some like to show you know, appreciation a little help on the channel that's never required uh, those PayPal's are never required either. The Super Chats are never required. They are appreciated. They do help us with everything here. Um, hey, check out the backdrop. Fancy. Uh, that was actually very cheap to do. I got tired of just looking at the bare white walls. Inside, we're inside the trailer. Um, this is something I can put up, throw together, try to make it look a little nicer than... What we usually have going on here the days of the bunker are currently over um, one day we'll get there get everything built in Wyoming but when you're trying to film outside here one the bugs eat you alive two it's just way too freaking hot and three when the winds blowing you see my outdoor videos even with the mic with the wind sock it's just loud I mean you can't hear nothing so yeah guys, um, again I do apologize for not having a lot of videos out the last two weeks. Everything's been a little crazy. Uh, one is work. I mean, we all have to work and the hours I'm putting in by the time I get up work and stuff guys. Um, it's kind of hit and miss on when I can actually do something. So luckily I did have two days off today. This week, yesterday unfortunately I didn't get any videos out. I was uh, working on another project. I, um, I'm filming and trying to get a YouTube channel created for a business and with the filming add that onto their YouTube channel and when I get done with everything let me go present it to the owners and see what they say um, you know I'm looking at different things many different angles of course in Wyoming we're homesteading if I'm able to improve my skills a little bit with video recording and YouTube things like that of course I'm gonna be trying things um, eventually one day we will be getting better video equipment so we'll be able to get away from just having to use the Android phones I did have a uh, it was a knockoff GoPro I don't recommend that <laughs> I don't recommend that at all uh, it's hit and miss on that I mean they tell you films a 1080 HD no no, it doesn't. Um, but anyway, we're trying different things out on the channel. Uh, we're trying different things out on the channel on a budget. Let's make sure we get that correct. Uh, because it's real easy. If you go online and look at Amazon and look at all the really cool stuff that is for YouTube. That's what they label it as as a selling point. The best video camera for YouTube. The best tripod for YouTube. Yeah, don't fall for that one. Um, I'm not saying don't get any good equipment, just 
budget things in, main thing right now is your food preps, okay? Get food preps put away, get your medication put away, get things you know that you're going to need. One of the things that the wife and I saw yesterday, I had to buy a new pair of shoes. My other shoes, walking around where I work at, the asphalt has just ground down one side because one of the rides I operate is at an angle the entire time, so you're always walking at an angle. Horrible on the knees, trust me. But anyway, I went in Walmart. I found a ten pair, of, uh, ten dollar pair of sneakers. You know, we were coming out because I had to go back out and finish filming, and there was no place to spend cash. Very interesting. That threw me off. I was not expecting that. I don't keep money in electronics hard at all. When money comes, be it my paycheck or anything like that, I draw it out cash on hand you know I feel safer with it on hand but anyway or buried somewhere it is threw me off that when we went there all the checkouts all the self checkouts were card only and we found out because I was trying to check out and there's a sign up there above the light card only due to Charlie Victor which threw me off because it's a machine you just feed the money in, and it spits money out. It was just weird. It was just really weird. But they did have two lines that were uh, personnel that did accept cash. And, oh, yeah, they're all strapped up to the T. Um, luckily, my wife isn't like me. She likes to keep money on her card, so we just paid for it that way. I'm a cash kind of guy. But it struck me odd that there was such a stipulation on cash and of course being a prepper and part of the tenfold group uh no offense the first thing i thought in my head is the value of dollars dropping that's what i thought this my brain went directly to that that's not the case it's because of charlie victor the um you know the virus so it's a precautionary thing but the whole store i mean the only two lines to use cash was back into the grocery aisle it was just this freaking huge line so prepare for that um we decided we had a little date night last night after i got done filming the wife and i and we went in pure parts right next door to my job and uh we shot out there just to you know walk around and stuff of course we had our mask on we just we haven't been anywhere in a while i mean a very long time so we stopped a little pizza bria thing and I forgot what she ordered, but um, anyway, we ordered some food, and we were just walking around, and everything is card only, even in Pure Park. And I was sitting looking at it, I'm like, you guys don't take cash? She goes, oh, well, no, we'll take cash. Thankfully, yeah. Uh, but Errol has signs on all the doors, and at the register, prefer card over cash due to pandemic. Really. Anyway, guys, food for thought, something to think about, maybe plan on. But uh, you guys take care. Again, special thanks to Alaska Prepper for hooking us up with that pressure cooker and canner. Um, that is something that we are going to be using a lot of, guys. Um, we are also going to be ordering some more canning equipment just because we know we're going to need it, uh, especially with meat. You need meat. Well, I need meat, so I like having meat on hand, so canning our own meat is going to be very key. Uh, anyway guys, y'all take care. Speak to y'all later.